Hey guys, Brooklyn here, and I'm really excited because today I'm doing my first ever YouTube collab video. I'm doing a collab with Sophia Rose, who's another awesome YouTuber. She messaged me and asked if I wanted to do a collab, and I was super excited, so we came up with doing a waterproof summer makeup and hairstyles video. So I'm going to be doing the summer makeup, she's going to be doing the summer hairstyles, and I'm really excited. I'm going to link her channel down below in the description box, and I'm also going to, going to link her um, summer hairstyles video in the description box below, so you can go check that video out, check out her videos, and watch her and subscribe if you like. So yeah, let's just get started with the tutorial. This is the look I did, and I'm going to explain everything in the tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm starting off this waterproof makeup look by applying a BB cream. I'm using the Olay Fresh FX BB cream, and I'm also using a small stippling brush to apply this all over my face and neck. And if you don't have a stippling brush, or if you don't have a brush to apply this, BB cream then you can definitely just use your hands and it'll work just as well. Now if you have good skin then you can stip, skip this next step but if you need a little bit more coverage then you can either take a concealer stick like the NYC one which is really great or you can do what I'm doing. I'm taking a higher coverage foundation like the Revlon Color Stay, which I love and I'm applying a little bit on my finger and then applying it to the areas where I need more coverage like my under eyes, around my nose and on any blemishes or acne. And the reason I'm doing this is because it gives you more coverage and also this foundation has really great staying power and it'll stay on your skin all day and give you good coverage. And then I'm just blending that in with the same brush or you can use your fingers. Now I'm going to be taking my powder to set all of my face makeup. I'm using the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. And I like to pour a little bit into the top and then I take a fluffy brush and I apply this all over my face and down my neck. So now for the um, cheeks I'm going to be using this really pretty pink um, cream blush. And then I'm just taking an angled brush, or you can use your fingers, and applying this pink blush to my cheeks just to give me some color. And I really like this pink blush. Um, also, since it's a cream blush, it's going to stay on all day. And I usually apply this before my powder, but I forgot about it, so I'm just applying it now. And I'm going to take some more of my powder and go over it um, just with the same brush just to set the blush. Now I'm going to be moving on to the eyes. I'm taking my... Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Wear and mine's in the color Too Cool which is sort of a frosty whitish color. Um, my sister also has the Badge of the Bronze and the Barely Beige one which she also likes and they're really great colors too if you want to check those out so I recommend those as well. But I'm just using this one that I have and I'm applying this with a brush all over my eyelids and my inner corners to brighten up my eyes. You can also apply this with your finger though. And now I'm taking this really awesome eyeshadow palette that's only about one or two dollars, I'm pretty sure, by Profusion. And I'm taking the white color in the palette and I'm taking the sponge applicator that it comes with and I'm just going over my eyelids and my inner corner and setting that color tattoo with eyeshadow. Now I'm taking this really pretty Ulta um, teal blue glitter eyeliner. I'm applying this to my waterline to give me a pop of color and also this eyeliner lasts really long as well so that's why I'm using it. I'm also applying a little bit to my lash line, which is just a little bit under your waterline, just so it shows up more. And then I'm taking the really pretty bright blue in the eyeshadow palette, and I'm taking that same um, sponge applicator, and I'm applying the blue eyeshadow right over top of the eyeliner. And when you do this, it just makes the eyeliner last longer. Now I'm taking my eyelash curler, and I'm curling my lashes. The reason I'm doing this is because in the water... The water can kind of weigh down your eyelashes, so if you curl them and then add your mascara, it's going to have them hold a curl longer. Now I'm taking my favorite waterproof mascara, which is the Maybelline Falsies. You can take whatever is your favorite waterproof mascara or this one, and then I'm just applying a few coats to my upper lashes and then one coat to my lower lashes. I would recommend not to apply too much mascara to your bottom lashes because that's where your mascara starts to come off first. 
Okay, so now I'm giving you a couple different lip options. If you don't like a lot of color, then a clear baby lip, I mean a clear soft lips is the way to go. I absolutely love soft lips, but today I'm going to be using the Baby Lips Melon Mania, which is a really pretty pink color. I also like the Baby Lips and Cherry Me, which is a really pretty light red. And I also like the Nivea Strawberry Lip Balm as well. Okay, now I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Brow Gel, Clear Brow Gel, and I use this to set my brows and just comb through them, and it makes them stay in place all day, especially underwater. And that's it.